Welcome back to Goblins of Conquest. Hi, this is Kelly, aka Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, assigned to Ragnarok Story, and Tilda Wimblewick from DD Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Okay, top of the order. It's the dead dog's turn. He, he continues to wither even more. Then it's the paladin's turn. He's not withering. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not withering. He's bleeding a little, but not withering too badly. Suck it up, He's Butterman. withering the storm. <laughs> weathering, not I withering. Know. Yes. <laughs> I know, but it's a fun play on <laughs> words. <laughs> Same thing. Just play, play it in the wall. Give me an athletics check. 16. 16, okay. So you're putting it right next to the other one so we can get an attack of opportunity, or are you going some distance away? Go a little bit away. Okay. Stay. <laughs> and push him down the, the arrow a little bit. It, well, it's like right here up to the fletchings, practically. Push him down back towards the head of the arrow. Oh, so, so you, <laughs> you're sliding him forward on the arrow? Okay. okay. Just make it have balls on And there's just... Further. <laughs> Did you want my phone? You know my password, bro. No. He's like, your phone's turned off. What do I want it for? <laughs> right. Okay. So is that that's it? Just stick him in the wall and push him down? Yeah. That's- Okay, so uh, you see them basically. Actually, you bad man, you. He does not make his strength check. <laughs> Poor little bastards. I was hoping for like a 20, and the other one jumps off and goes and stabs him with the foot with the arrow. <laughs> as, as they are straining against these arrows and not really making any headway whatsoever. What are you guys going to do? Well, I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to burn that cat a little Okay. Going to get take some flame from the ranger who's got his uh, tender kid out? <laughs> no. Well, burn as in necrotic. Oh, <laughs> burn as and rot them into death because yeah. it is a cantrip. So, do you guys wait for her to do the? She's gonna do the chill touch a couple times on them. Right. Yeah, it's like two, twelve seconds. Yeah. Right? And he's like, or one of you could stand there and let me hit you with some dual damage, and then the arc, the flame will arc up. I I figured they're so close together, if the hand's big enough, if I get you to move, I can just smack them both. When you really want to do something. Yep. He's got the flame thing, the flaming stick. He got us. Right? Well, what I was telling him was that I could have the paladin move. They're so close together. Take the hand, squish both of them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be like, good place. But <laughs> Okay, and then you basically using your chill touch. And they just wither on these little arrows. I mean, I don't think you guys want your arrows back. Do you want your arrow back? I can give you a, 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 a bolt. <laughs> I can give you a shank crossbow pull. I, I'll, I guess I'll. I'm pretty sure they're okay with arrows because remember they did find some bundles of arrows. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, there's yeah, just yeah. gooey, milky substance on the shelf. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a whole He was waiting for that. <laughs> yeah. Then there's a whole humiliation of asking to ask if they have to get him down. Yeah, because they're kind of like... Up. I can climb. <laughs> I'm 
prophecy. Well, she she has that one that she she missed and like is in the 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 other the, the not so moving fungus. And, and you guys oh, do, the by the way, like, as you're t- tormenting these last two, oh, you hear some oh. hissy noise and sure something is retreating yeah. back into the underdark. Didn't like seeing oh, your brethren treated like that. <laughs> you're being horribly, horribly abusive, and he's like, no, I'm not going to save my people. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are, are major jerks. Yes. So. I want to do a nature inspection. It's kind of understand, see if we can understand these mushrooms. You can have the rest, though. Uh, I have the next one. Okay. I want to, yeah, understand these, these critters a bit more. So okay. For a nature check, I assume. Uh, 21. Oh, Jesus. So uh, as you're poking them with the arrow, because you're a nature guy, and I'll just oh, yeah. hand you the book, because it's like that, because you rolled a 22. <laughs> Wait, which, which, which? It's, it's, it's the work. first one on that page. Okay. I, 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 or, oh, the, that. The, yeah, the, that the, one. The, got, the veggie, yep. veggie I've veggie got the not ready version. Yep. Okay, so, so yeah, so you've got <laughs> camouflage, regeneration. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Have you seen the alternate cover artwork they came out with? Uh-huh. Did you read it all? Oh, I mean, like, 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 oh, I get the whole description. You get, you, you're basically poking this thing and comparing it to your itinerary of nature in your head. Yeah. It's a natural yeah. creature. And as a goblin, you would probably know yeah, these things. The multiple, once you take the, the time to do a skill roll, much like your wizard, when he took the time to think about it, he's like, yes, these yeah. things exist there. Speaking of pleasure, this first, would you... Allow me to turn back time just a little bit with that thing going on. Yes, it's He's 60 <laughs> feet away. Yeah, it is. Cast Grease. Ooh, it's okay. It's within range. Yeah, okay. it's within range. So it's DC 12, oh, but I'd like to mm-hmm. cast Grease underneath. As you make him slippery and the, the little crack into Underdark. <laughs> and it's Dex? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so like do, do me a favor. What's the dex bonus for the Spore Master? This is the second one. Oh, the, the, uh, the dex bonus is plus two. Yeah, you don't make it. As it slips, and you're basically seeing Mushroom bent over and, and, and it's flopping. It looks like a larger version of these guys, but it's got like spore nodules on it. As it's slipping and sliding in its retreat. <laughs> Not I'm really going to charge retreating after. at this point. Hmm. So can I come up here and attack it then? With lightning lure? Well, your grease would have been your spell then, so everybody else can right, right, do right. something. Right, everybody else But you else can gets move up after something. you can cast and then move. Yeah, so with that Okay. Well I'm at um, half movement, wanna, so Sounds like the paladin might want to charge. So you're gonna charge? Yeah. Do you know the charge rule? No, I'm gonna charge up to it. Not charge it. Okay, because it is do I need to move? 30. You're just out of range. I double move? And still attack? Not and still attack. But if you look at the book real quick for charge. Okay, I won't charge. <laughs> Shall I open it up to you? Do it for this. He is on the breeze. Yeah, I know. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome because he's going to have to roll. I don't say anything. <laughs> I see him start charging off there. It's like, oh, the floor's kind of slippery over there. Okay. So, yeah. So, one thing to watch out with this stuff, these guys come from creatures that have been infected by mold, and they died. So, watch out for bodies that might have mold on them. Oh, good point. Yes. Very good point. That's I think one of the most oh, the, the most pertinent kind of things of, of, of that. that. That's very important thing. Yes. Hopefully we can. Yeah, like like in, in addition to all that fire and you know like badness and stuff like that. Yeah. Badness. She like that. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's, you have a torch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I have, I have torches in that pack as well. Yours. I think we all probably do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, it, it, like uh, yeah, I, yeah. That, that's the thing. Is like, oh, oh, that's right. I actually wrote down C back because I was like, I, I was doing a lot of. You don't have any torches. You don't have an explorer's pack. No. Or adventurers. Like, well, like 
So, so, yeah. Like, which which flavor of pack did she get? Burglars pack. Burglars. Yeah, burglars. Burglars may not. I, 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 I get a candle in there. The, uh, yeah, the dash pack. That's all they've got is the dash pack. <laughs> Oh, I've got a burglar. Yeah, yeah. 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 So Tag rules, change attack, melee attack. You tried to do that. Shoving the creature. That's the one you've done before. It's not. Oh, but she does attack. She does have a thousand ball bearings. It doesn't have CAC. Yeah. She uses it. Does it have that same odor? It's not. You can take it. It's the odor. Yeah, you can take it down orally as a drop, you can vape it, uh, you can take it's it. It's the dash, so you can take dash action, you can change your dash, you can do uh, the double and a half. Push the orders. Yeah. Okay, so well, getting there was just a move right. Sorry. Yeah. Because you would basically be right there's here, a, just out of reach. Yeah, there's a feat. There, there is there's a feat called charger. Yeah, for the charger. Yeah. That's, they make it so not everyone does it now. <laughs> everyone's everyone's I, flying in. <laughs> Any rage attacks or spells? No. Okay, so you're running at it very intimidatingly. Like just outside of the grease range. Now, do you want to finish your movement to get there, or your yeah, I will finish my movement. And what do I need to save? Yeah. Give me a. It's a deck save, right? DC twelve, yeah. DC twelve deck save. Or fall prone with him. New Mexico suffers from some of the And what's your passive perception? My passive perception is my wisdom stat. Okay. Um. Okay. So I rolled an eight for it, but I'm. Don't think I don't like that idea. <laughs> so I think I'm going to save some face. Okay, so you're going to add, so you're going to add five to it. Yeah. Okay, so so he so he started to slip until he looked back at all of you, realizing, oh no 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 no, and he got his bearing on his feet as he almost fell on his ass. As he almost fell on his ass. <laughs> Saving face at its best. <laughs> Is it still difficult to rain? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I only moved 15. Well, it would have been... Th- no, I had moved that. Okay, go. Cool. Yeah, that's why he did a dash action to finish it off. Right, right. You know. Okay, so anyone interested in going that direction? Anyone? Anyone? I, mean, I am. I... <laughs> we should probably do what? Well, well, he's well, running he's, off to go he's... chase the thing into the darkness. Yeah, we should. Your, your hobgoblin and, like, uh... Bugbear team don't want to let something go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and and sort of try try to shoot towards that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll skitter up a bit. Okay. It is a disadvantage yeah. because now that it's prone on the ground, oh yeah, it's and fell and it's behind the guy. But you think you're gonna be able to do this? Yeah. Also, like I recall, I, I had inspiration the last from the end of the last round. I believe you did. So I'm going to be inspired with with my shots and cancel out. So straight roll, straight roll, and get a twenty unnatural. That will hit. Dirty twenty. A dirty, dirty twenty. That's going to be y'all. that's going to be the new term for it. <laughs> yeah. Dirty twenty. And I do uh, eight points. Ooh. As your arrow goes thwacking out, zipping right past the uh, paladin's armor. Toing. Toing. I can't read what it says anyways. I don't have any glasses on. Okay, so anybody else going to do something? Did anyone else move before me? I mean, like, I, I moved it for me. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. You're going to give into the peer pressure? Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Ashley. I mean, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> you give into peer pressure. It's your thing. We don't judge. We accept you. <laughs> I'm a follower. <laughs> oh. Okay, go ahead and uh, move forward. Lower. Lower. You're probably like this far since you can only go 25 as you nimbly zip back and forth through the terrain because you can actually do that. But you can bring a bonus action with 
dash. So sure. You do you have your you bonus mentioned. disengage, dash, or hide? Uh, yeah, you are I'm super sorry. nimble. As this nimble goblin comes diving through the area. Yeah, you move this. Okay. Who are the fire Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, if you shoot your arrow at him, you, you will be at disadvantage because he's, he's all locked prone behind the paladin. But I think I have faith in him. What's the worst that happens? You roll a one inch shoot paladin? So you're saying it just looks like a fraggle? Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to take the shot? Damn fraggle. <laughs> <laughs> friends. <laughs> Um, no, I'm good with my vision. You're not going to take the shot? No. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I was, you do I was else? like all the way in the back with people <laughs> all in front of me. I probably can't see clearly enough to be confident in the shot. Okay. Is there anything else you want to do besides shooting? I could hide. That's a thing. I, I, I could be a You just slip sneaky. right into the bugbear skirt. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Mind of the quarter stab. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hide roll. Let's see how well you hide. Uh, it's a d20 plus your stab. Which is like ridiculous. It is. What? Oh, wait. I'm sorry. What? Is that what? a six? That's a six. <laughs> What okay, is, who makes ivory white dice with gold print that you can't? It's use? pretty. That just, that one. Character looks weird. They're like okay. unicorn dice. Yeah. See? The pretty <laughs> dice. There's a reason for them. See? Legible dice. You can see when I roll high every time. That is the only dice. time I've ever had a problem rolling. Some <laughs> someone, someone they rolled their die. I like, don't they have got the, eyesight it's like the most problems. It's like the most dot next to the six or the nine. I know, and I'm like, what the heck is that supposed or to be? Or it's knocked off the dot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, like, it, it doesn't help. It's got like it's got like spirally pattern for the color, too. <laughs> so everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, Claire, yeah. you want to move closer? Yeah, well, I wanted to drag, you know. He's watching your rear. I need, um, and he's going to continue, continue really watching your rear, huh? Okay. As I go for the good dice. Okay. No. That's better. <laughs> that's better. Three. You got a three? I'm just kidding. A 20. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I was going to say that. I, I was so excited that I got to add three to my die. <laughs> Which one? Yeah. Three. Oh. Sixteen. Ooh, I think our dice woke up. Nine. Yes, Nine. I think they have. Nine. <laughs> Sixteen, Nine. and I think my dice is higher. What a favorite question, Mortal Oh, Mamma Mia. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Wizards, you, you were on deck. You get eight ob- objects mm-hmm. for a ritual. So what are you going to do? You could just drop a fireball and take them both out, and you could run the tribe. Our third level. <laughs> Don't think I haven't thought of it. I mean, I didn't say that out loud. What's your passive perception, by the way? Ten. Okay. Yeah, there could be more hidden <laughs> things like the height. One, two, that's the other thing. So. That's still 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's, the enemy's still 30 feet away. Right? Yep. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything just yet because which bolt would hit him? I don't know. Which bolt would hit him? It's a direct attack. And then you lock on and it keeps frying that same target. Yeah, but he's in the way, so... No, no, no. Magic doesn't work that way anymore. <laughs> all right. They got rid of those rules. You can now shoot over your buddies. All right, all right. Basically, there's this crackling corona <laughs> right over his head going down into the, the muck. What's well, a little for the the muck, the muck. Unless, of course, you roll a one. Then, by all means, we can hit it. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> We have to have one yet today. How do you feel about that? Then 20. I can say, you won! <laughs> so he that's 21 hit to hit. 21 will hit as all of a sudden your leg is warming up as this lightning arc is zipping past your leg and hip, and it's it's constant arc of electricity. And that's going to be six points of damage. It starts to arc this black, crackling lightning. I, I will give you that you see this lightning hell lashing into the thing. And, and 
It seems to not be doing as much damage as light normally would do to your eyes. So how much points damage? Nine. Nine? Wait, six. Six? I read the line. Right. The line is wrong. Okay, so your, your lightning is locked on. You can just keep, choose to keep channeling it now. You don't have to roll strike rolls, which is amazing, until you can break line of sight with you. Right. Which would then give attack opportunity to somebody. Okay. Okay. So, that comes down to the road. Um, You're seeing this beautiful arc of lightning going across. The smell of fungus getting roasted in the air. Delicious. Um, What's your passive perception? Not really very good. Good hey, to know. <laughs> don't we have uh, this guy taking care of our behind? Yeah, he's watching the rear. Exactly, <laughs> our passive perception. <laughs> there you go. He's our passive perception. You trusting the fighter to do passive he's, perception? He's backing up. Oh, I'm sure. sure. That, that wasn't the passive was perception was asking yeah. for. <laughs> What's that? Tell just sir. He has one job. <laughs> If we get attacked from behind. Well, little did you know, he came back as a revenant, not actually himself. <laughs> Someone let me die. I don't, I don't even know what I'm You doing. could try to hit this guy. He is a disadvantage. All right, all right. You so, okay? So I have to... I have to... Wait. I, I have disadvantage to roll. Yes. Uh, Unless you, you raise that little one right there for inspiration. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Inspiration. Okay. Your, then it's a straight roll. As you're going to be shooting an arrow between his legs, what's the worst that can happen? I don't know. Oh my gosh. It's only between his legs. <laughs> For the record, I, there is still a flaming sword in my hand. I'm so far away right now. <laughs> um, 21. As literally, arrow goes whooshing by your ankles and sticks into this thing. <laughs> so you got lightning on one side, arrows coming through the legs. That's right. That's a, that's the second goblin arrow. Was <laughs> 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 fast. Trust us. <laughs> there is going to be a day Trust. that I am going to become a pig cushion. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Five. Five. Okay. But you also get sneak attack because Jason. Yeah. Jason. <laughs> uh, no, I wasn't is he is the enemy incapacitated? No, just adjacent. Well, the thing says that the ally that he has to be adjacent and that the enemy has to be not incapacitated. He's I not really, incapacitated. He's not incapacitated. Okay. Yes, incapacitated means he's tied up and can't do anything right now. He's just. Or oh, well, I also can't have a disadvantage on him. Well. Oh. Oh, but you don't have this match. That's why I did. You don't, so you do get the sneak damage if you like. All right, all right. I'm going to do that then. <laughs> hey, you know, it turns, One more a, is it greater turns than a zero. two into a three with damage resistance. Right? <laughs> and by the way, the arrow hits into it. It doesn't do as much damage as you think it should be doing since you're watching. And it's looking at you going, but you can't hear fire. any of that because you hear this <laughs> crack with the roar of lightning just going. You 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 are tasting the ozone right now. <laughs> Fortunately, I like that smell. <laughs> so uh, it's good that you like that smell because it is your turn. Okay, I I think it is time to. You do have advantage because it is prone and you're not in melee. You don't want to be at someone's knees when they have a weapon over your head. And so. Thank you for that. Okay. So, and because I had cast Searing Smite. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, so before I take my swing, okay. I drop my shield and grab, grab the sword with both hands. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you do do the whole drop shield and you have it in both hands as you're bringing it down? Yep. Okay. So, so that's a... Uh, ow. Okay, uh, a clean 20. Queen to strike? Play. Yeah. Okay. And not dirty 20. <laughs> uh, so. There's already a for that. 22, 27. <laughs> We're going to find memes. This is a clean 20 and this is a dirty 20. So 27? <laughs> 27 points? 
Jesus. <laughs> Don't judge my dirty 20s. <laughs> no judgment. And he needs to make the constitution. He's not I, I admit, first, I gotta do some math real quick because I think that, that hits a magic number. That does hit a magic number. So, what does this constitution save I have to make? To prevent it from burning for continuing with falling rocks. Okay, what's, <laughs> what's your spell DC? 12? Yep. As you strike down and this thing is enveloped with fire and it goes and the fire just keeps burning and burning and burning and burning because you did exactly the amount of point damage you had to drop it to zero and now the corpse is burning. As you're seeing small tufts of this, this reddish copper ash tuffling down from the ceiling and the walls. Uh, that's that's the mold <laughs> that that will turn things that die into those things where you just had to kill. <laughs> Nobody died. <laughs> so, uh, Dan, Take a shower. Yeah. Give, give me a constitution saving roll. Oh. Constitution Bless you. Bless you. It's not a disease. It will affect a pathology. It's a poison. Ah, <laughs> Turn the round of the rain. Burn it. <laughs> Burn the whole freaking cabin. Oh, yes. That's definitely my uh, philosophy of <laughs> scenario. Where I just bet you to kill two dollars. So, uh, I mean, uh, you, you you see the, 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 the stuff puffing, you like, <laughs> and you manage to cough it out. Uh, uh, are you, are you want to walk away from the mold? Or would thinking, you like to go further in the room that is all of this rusty, nasty mold? I'm going to pass on that idea. Okay. <laughs> it's good that you didn't get very far before he slipped up and fell. Yeah, I'll drop the grease. I'm not the, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but nah, I'm going to pass on that idea. Okay, do, do you drop it before he leaves or after he leaves? <laughs> 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 go ahead and give me a deck save. <laughs> So, 16. Okay. <laughs> so you step back from the slipperiness of the mold that you don't know why it's so slippery and glistening. You hear these furry fingers with claws. <laughs> <laughs> As you're seeing this thing just continue to burn and, and the mold is like cindering the ceiling above it because it only takes one point of fire radiant damage to fuck this shit up. <laughs> But you don't want to, yeah, as, the, as the, the ranger's telling you, get the hell away yes. from that shit. Because <laughs> once you catch that shit, it takes like radiant damage or a gallon of alcohol or a pound of salt to, to get rid of that crap. Wow. Yeah, I think we need to start torching up in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so what are you guys going to do? While you're deciding what you're going to do, the GM's going to use his excuse to use the restroom. See how well that was planned? You can discuss your plans if you want to take a short rest. Or if you're going to sally forth and continue on. By the way, is anyone sleeping or head down that hallway? <laughs> no. The no. fighter? No. We'll discuss that, too. No, it's taking our people all the right? Hey, fighter. <laughs> You know, he's got our back, so. It's true, true. But it would be very nice of us to get a kill. I'm not going to throw him on the bus for not being here. No. There might be a day I'm not here and I'm, I don't like to smell with diesel and rubber. Yeah, I think we need to light a torch. Yeah, no, yeah. most definitely. Start most burning. definitely, this is yeah. like burning away cobwebs. We're just burning yeah, away. Yeah, everybody, like, wall of fire. And just right. cover our mouth and nose. Yeah, yes, okay. Yes. 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 Some level you get but I, I, I forget. I forget yeah. what I don't remember if it was a disease or if it's something. It's like one of those other afflictions. Right. Yeah. I'm like here, I'm trying to look something, look something up. I remember what the, the what I rolled. But... That's called going We've decided to the that we are going to right. short rest. <laughs> I'm just going to get my hair done. I'm pretty sure Light that torch is um, I would just, just like clog up their suits. Like we're burning away <laughs> cobwebs or whatever. Like we're burning away. Burning. Okay, so so you're, you're you're retreating back a little bit. Yeah, I'm starting to okay. burn away. Okay, take a short rest. Yes. So, and I'm going to cure burning the... Yeah, have a secure wound. 
wounds. Okay. Of have a fire line. Have a couple of nice little burnt out spots where you can clearly see that in the firelight there's little big spores flipping around like dust. Thankfully your fire is not protecting you from them. Okay, so you guys take a long rest. Uh, who's going to be on watch? Any going to be on, in particular on watch? Or are you going to be all tactically back to back in a circle watching your fires? No, yeah, we got someone watching our back, remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> you should send him down this hallway. <laughs> what's, that, we that too. what's that <laughs> rash? We, we had thought about that, but we thought that was a little too mean. A so. little, too, little too mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so uh, okay, so he's going to be on watch. I'm going to give him advantage and use the bad dice. He does a great job with advantage on watch. Nothing, nothing gets past him. Are we doing a you said a long rest? Thing? So you guys, are you guys going to go for the long rest? Yeah, I'm going to long and get everything back. <laughs> okay, so so there is a defensible spot you can actually go back to the building up the, the room over here that you guys saw. You can leave the door open with the fire circle, making sure nothing comes in there. The hallway sounds eerily quiet, except for every now and then you get this weird clicking noise, like like a certain forest creature from a certain Japanese artist movies with a little. Tip. Oh yes, mm. the <laughs> the forest spirits. Oh yes, those things. From yep. uh, Mononoke, yep. yep. adorable. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Where they tilt their head like a jumping yep. bean. Yeah. Because that's how they communicate. Oh, Apparently that's how these things communicate. They can let out gassy air or click. So <laughs> I'm thinking they're the d d version of these things. Only evil and made from dead things I killed with mold. I sketched those things for Inktober. I'm trying to remember the prompt that was, that was for. I think it might have been Swarm. <laughs> <laughs> swarm. swarm. Okay, so you guys are taking a long rest. Slightly paranoid. TV. That's what it was. What? The the the, pro- the prompt that, that that I decided to draw those for the T K four is teaming with those creatures. <laughs> okay, we're doing long rest as, as everybody can say. Yeah. Okay, so you basically can uh, roll your your hit dice to get your hit points back, oh, that's good. or just get to full, which is fun, and they give you both those options, which is the same. Yeah, yeah, way. like yeah. If we're doing a long rest, why do you want to roll your hit dice? <laughs> yeah. Mainly it's for the short rest, but it yeah. gives you the option to do that for a long rest, but you get your hit points back anyway, so what's the point? Yeah. I, I think it's one of, I think it's one of those, those rules lawyer verbiage things, too, because there's a lot of things like with a short or you recover things on a short or long rest. Uh-huh. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. Or it was one of those when they were, they were deciding the rules they hadn't decided yet, so they just left the verbiage as it was. Which one do you Which in the player's handbook, there is a few a few parts that actually do that, where you can see they got like the old rule, then the new rule. Long rest. The group is okay. often go back to a little more secure area and get a nice long rest. As there's a pair of goblins going, <laughs> The little mouse bouncing around. She's smiling too. Yeah, that's what's happening. Oh, memorize that one today. Then there's the bug that. Oh no, no, the, the the long rest part is actually you you regain it's you regaining hit dice. Mm-hmm. You get no, you're not regaining hit dice for the hit points. You regain half your hit dice. Yeah. If you've expended any. Oh, 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 no, you. Oh yeah, no, you. you yeah, no, you, you yeah, you only get like half of them back. Mm-hmm. Here. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get to spend the media, so whatever. Yes, my always gets tangy. So you guys take a long rest. You you wake up what you think is only, you know, half of a dozen of hours. You know, you guys can barely tell at this point because you're underground, but you're comfortable with underground because you're evil goblins. Who's a goblin? Yeah, really. <laughs> Goblinoid. <laughs> You're not evil. So you guys have let your your, your fires out here burn themselves out. They did a great job of just clear burning everything into this weird ashy. It's almost like the ash version of a puffball because it's burnt to an ash. Right. But you know it's ash and not mold when you're out there, which is nice. Better. Did you do anything special to this hallway? Guess yeah, we stayed, stayed away from it. Because its body was burning for a while. But you guys definitely get the point that the mold is very bad back here because it's actual natural cavern 
Well, we kind of decided if we're going anywhere near there, we're going to cover our mouth and our nose. And Give yourself an advantage on your constitution check. Yes. Yeah. Or just burn it. Yeah, so we can't burn it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's right, doing back there? Yeah. Too quiet. Like I don't trust the road behind me that's being that quiet. <laughs> Okay. She <laughs> snuck off again. <laughs> Alright, so who's checking the side hallway? Yeah, I'll, just, okay, I'll go, first I'll, go uh, I'll take a scout look down. I'll take a, a peek down that next Do you hall. Yeah, take a peek down that hallway? Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, I find a lot of things with my uh, my seven. So, you, so you're looking now with perception rather than just go being sly and sneaky? There's a hallway. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, there's. there's, there's <laughs> There's a hallway. As you look over and you see a hallway down this way, that it's just covered with with viney plants. Like reach up to the ceiling and crawl over and dangle. Looks like somebody's just planted a crap ton of old English vines and some viney plants. You notice that they stop around here and it becomes regular brick. But there's like piles of dirt. Like someone's just like plopped. Plops oh. of dirt. So so more so now is it more that the the vines have just not grown that far, or more that they they've been maybe cut back? Uh, it looks like they just haven't grown that far. Okay. I'm not sure which is more which is more or less concerning, actually. There's a pop there, pop there, pop there. Turn up. Okay. I'm trying to find where the actual lines are because I'm getting a, a bit of a glare. I'm trying to figure out which, oh, which are your drawn so lines. So basically, okay, yeah, it's, it's, right so here is three a clear path. Yeah. Okay, and it's three squares wide. Okay. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure if, if for my glare is too yeah. wide. Here's okay. the hallway. The okay. wall extends to right here, and then there was a door, but you can see the door is just, ro- the wood is rotted to okay. nothing. It's almost like this mold got to the door and did a number on it. I yeah. think we should cover our mouth and nose until we definitely know we're past this. Yes. Okay. So uh, you're sneaking, sticking your head out there? Yeah, yeah. No, I just I take a, take, took a look. I, I did not do it stealthily. Okay. And you didn't do it very observantly either. Yes, no, no, I, okay. I, no I, I, I did it very observantly. It's I, because I, you were so worried about mold. Yes. You were, you were so particular like, about touching things. Mm-hmm. I mean, that. I only rolled a three on the dice. I didn't roll a one, so Thankfully, it's not like my this, hood fell this on my is face. All mold. <laughs> this area looks mold-free, which is exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. Especially if you're seeing the brain mold. kind of yeah. eases out all slimy, like yeah. pulsing, it's like a brain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're creeped out. Mm-hmm. Mind clear mold. Yeah. So what do you tell the group about how safe the hallway is? Oh, yeah. It's like, there's a bunch of vines down there, but it looks like a little path. There's some... Patches of dirt and well, not nothing too really like nothing monsters. nothing too dangerous I've seen. Mm-hmm. Not nothing, as no dangerous mold. as mold. Yeah, no, no, no. He got no scared mold. with the mold part. Yeah, I don't blame him. He doesn't want to turn into a, you know a veggie pygmy. Yeah, no. This could be an interesting project for like, turning you into a farm <laughs> veggie pygmies. <laughs> Take some humans down here, force them to be contaminated, and send them back home right. with a poison. Yeah. That is a or or oh, I, I, I bet you. Oh God, the cleric's going dark. I mean, as long as I was, I was, I was, the mold, I was already thinking uh, and, and, of some of those other goblins. And, and, then, and then, then I started thinking, oh no. I bet you he'd be really happy with that. I bet you. I'd be real happy. I'd be his favorite. <laughs> Take the people, make me the mold. mold but case. how many souls that was the. We could bring some goblins down here. Mm-hmm. That worked too. We did. I didn't mean oh. you, Liz. <laughs> You two two are still amongst the useful goblins. I'm pretty sure that I have like one of the highest skill goblins. Yeah, we can grab those. Throw them in there. So, what are you guys going to do? 
you've had your rest, you've, you've explored the area. Uh, so you've, this hallway looks to be like... According to your ranger, that is completely safe. There's just some vines in there. There's some, some, <laughs> there, there, there's, there, but there's a, path, there's a pathway as well. It's a path, a path, a path. <laughs> so we'll go in there with torches and start lighting. I'll go start lighting up the, the vines. Maybe okay. fair improvements. So, so, so you're going <laughs> to start walk in there and just step right in and light? Mm -hmm. Okay, as soon as you touch fire to, to the vines. Initiative. Yep. <laughs> that but that's awesome. a surprise attack, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you're lighting this bush on fire. Oh, yay! So it doesn't two d six points of damage. It because you've gone before the bush and it goes up immensely. Right. The burning bush. Where has my little pad of paper gone? Your what? Pad of paper. Where is the? Was it in? It was like the. Yeah. Was stolen. These. It was stolen by the rogue. That explains it. No, no. Um, you left it here, and you halfway off the table. So, you stole it. so I put she it stole in the same spot. She stole it Kinder style. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a Kinder response. <laughs> right. It's safe now. It's safe from a certain point of view. Okay, so what'd you get, rogue? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. She's plotting death. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, how, ten. Ten? How many goblins can we send to <laughs> the And do they count as two souls? Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay, so, uh, Ranger, you go first. You see him in there, and he's, he's torching one of the bushes. Torching one of the bushes. Are we seeing the bush react, or, or am I just simply... I'm... Are you looking? You know, you know what? I'm, I'm going to, because of the... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a, a second look. Down, okay. Down, down to see, see if I know. Look. I'm going to take a, another, another kind of... I'm going to, I'm going to maybe back... I'm, no. Oh, I'm going to... You can look and then back the yeah, rest Yeah, okay, of yeah. I'll, I'll look and then back away. Okay. okay. Um, I got a, uh, a 13 on perception. Because of the fire, it's okay. starting to excite what's in there. This figurine, and, uh, this figurine that wasn't there earlier. <laughs> all of a sudden, you notice the vi this vine bush is lighting on fire. He's, mm. he's doing a great job of torching it. As the bush next to it starts sh quivering. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. And then the bush next to that one starts quivering. And you're seeing along the uh, branches quills standing up. As they're just quivering in fear of this fire. <laughs> the great fire bringer, because I have an intelligence of one, so we just know you are the fire bringer. <laughs> Damn plants with the low intelligence. Yes. <laughs> I as, they're, they're vegetables. They, they, they are thrashing. Oh, it's the it's thing. Are, are you wishing to move away from the doorway? Ye yes, I wish to. Oops. Yeah, I wish to. Back up, back away. Like so, it's, 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 oh, it's, it's still just a so it's a one square wide doorway. Yeah, it's a one okay. square wide doorway. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna back away. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear the way, clear the path for the melee focused uh, oh, to oh, get through. Oh, I'm, going, I'm being helpful. Is that what we're calling? Yes, I am being helpful. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, wizard, you're seeing this bush quivering, and it's buddy bush quivering. And they're close enough that the fire will connect. Mm, it'll take time to grow. I mean, you could just walk away and let the fire do its job, or throw some oil in there and let the oil catch fire. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna step back. <laughs> how, how far? <laughs> <laughs> you start the fire, then you walk the hell away. <laughs> I'm practicing my brain. Okay. Right. Her hair's long enough. I cleared the way. Yeah. And, and you're I hearing this horrible you. thrashing of vines going on in the room, you know. Like okay. It's safe now. <laughs> it's safe now. <laughs> I'll have to figure it out. Okay. It's, so it's two bushes. It's two big bushes that are moving out of all of the bushes in there. There are many bushes, but only two are thrashing. Yes, two bushes. Like two bushes, bushes have the ability of false appearance as long as they're not moving. They're part of the foliage. 
They were mixed in with the regular foliage. So Rogue is your turn. All right. Um, in that case. You know you want to go running for that. Gonna, oh yeah. I Trust mean, your I'm, you know gobbly googliness and run through that room without being hurt. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's safe. Um, I'm go gonna for shoot it. into <laughs> the room because it looks like I've got a pretty decent shot. You're gonna get to there where it's a straight roll, not a disadvantage. Sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seems like a thing. Um, nine? You missed the bush. <laughs> but on the bush's turns, they both rated actions to throw thorns at the person that came to the doorway. I didn't go in the doorway. <laughs> You're a clean light of sight? Give them a clean light of sight. That's why I was asking if we were going at disadvantage or not. It's bugbear. I bet I can throw so, so one of the goblins further down the hallway than you can. What? From a 14 to you? Um... That's I'll take that bet. That is your armor class? <laughs> is it okay, that means you're going to take that. 8 points of damage. As and if I lose, I'll eat and, and by the way, guys, you started shooting an arrow into the room, and then she took a face full of thorns. <laughs> but I won't eat that. 8 points of damage. I'll cut that first. Wait, would you like to continue moving so you're not in the doorway? <laughs> yeah, I'll step this way. <laughs> <laughs> as she's got thorns. <laughs> and I'm just giving her this really... Yeah. <laughs> You're starting some new phase for piercing thing. Please Just pull me by. Oh yeah, this was all intentional. I, I, I get a I get a uh, band aid out and I throw it at her. Which is really just dirty rag. She calls them band aids, yeah. but you know, it's from the pile of rags that the cobalt's open. She used it on me last. It was from a band of cobalt's to give you aid. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, think nothing of it. <laughs> no, literally, think nothing of it. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, this guy. Yeah. Gonna send in the are, are you gonna go in the doorway? I don't think so. You're wise. Oh. Wisdom says don't, don't stick your head in the doorway. Correct. <laughs> Especially after seeing that lace. <laughs> <laughs> and the thorns in it. It's a porcupine. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, like I'm picking like one of those dogs that got in front of a porcupine. <laughs> so, so is there anything in particular you'd like to do before the paladin probably does something reckless? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Read up on spares of dying again. <laughs> <laughs> Read up on what? Spares of dying again. <laughs> How did Spur the Dying go again? <laughs> oh, yeah, don't die! <laughs> um, I'm on this side of the doorway. Uh huh. You don't really see the bush, but you see the fire crackling in there. I think for the time being, I'm just really not going to do a whole lot of anything. Cause so far, there's a really nice campfire going. And, oh, like well, dead that, foliage underneath the plant. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. So, so Paladin, what are you going to do? You're up. I think you want to charge in there be throw. daringly reckless. Oh, reading up spare the dying. <laughs> going to go by the ankle. Somebody or... lasso him with a grappling hook and pull the corpse in so he can spare the dying it. Because the hook carries his ass died. <laughs> Just... We're telling Jerome he is so dead. He Let's caught, not do he that caught this the time. mold. He <laughs> went into the hallway of the thorn throwers. Let's not tell him that this time. Let's be nice. I've done my share of stupid for the day. I'm going to just go and squat and wait. Oh, but this is a new day. Oh, it's it right. is. You oh. took a long rest, remember? Oh, damn. I got to pull the stupid stupid. Yeah. <laughs> See this, this wench? <laughs> This wench is stupid, and she's giving you the come hither. The dungeon created last month. You get a wench. And she does. It's just like a bad idea. It's bushes and thorns and running through fire to get to the bushes with no, the no, thorns. No, the fire's just right here. It's a little right yeah, but if I want to get to the bushes, i got to get to the, go through the You just flames. walk through. No, there's a walk. There's a clear walk path. It's a two-by-two. Two 
It's a three by. It's, it's, a, a, it's a two by it two fire. It is a fifteen foot wide hallway with only a five foot by five foot fire. So far, it's going to grow in its next turn. I was like, why is there really starting with me? Just something stupid. <laughs> because. <laughs> okay, so you guys basically are hanging out as you're waiting for the fire to get bigger. Anybody can do anything to help uh, speed up the fire getting bigger? I mean, you guys got tons of oil flasks. I don't. I, use them. I don't have any. You use them all? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have any oil. Uh, nobody refilled them in that room that was full of the casks. <laughs> no, I've got to wait for two at once. And to the goblins. <laughs> and then throw the goblins. Okay, so as you guys are waiting here, you guys are spending one, two, three, four, five, about five rounds into it. You're hearing this horrible thrashing sound and crackling fire, it's popping and hissing. It's like listening to, you know, uh, hot dogs overcooking the fire. That goes on for about three, four rounds. It's horrific. Then all of a sudden, uh, two more rounds later, the thrashing intensifies as, as the first thrashing has died down in the crackling flames. As then you hear more thrashing, excitedly thrashing, and then you're hearing like sharp things bouncing off the walls as they are throwing needles. <laughs> I was going to say, somebody looked in the hallway, flaming needles. They're yes. throwing <laughs> flaming thorns down the hallway. And the worst part is, part of the thing is they have uh, adhesive blossoms, so when their blossoms hit the floor, it sticks, and now it's like, wow, wow, wow. And, and then after... But it's all being toasted. <laughs> we can now eat it. Ooh, At, after yeah. about 14 rounds of listening to crackling <laughs> fire go down this hallway... It's not too bad. You guys are That's choking on this like minute, horribly yeah, minute, greasy, yeah. tobacco-y tasting smoke. Minute. Um, remember, don't I have things over. Yeah. 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 Go, go ahead and give me just a uh, just just a con save of twelve or higher. If you have face protection, you have a advantage. Yes. Ooh. Twelve. 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 Get you on fire. She's like, no, I am not on fire. I am <laughs> way. Go- he, she's like, I am way below the smoke line. Yeah. So, what'd you get, Dan? I got fifteen. Everyone but the ranger, who apparently has smoked too much ganja in his days. <laughs> so uh, I gotta try it. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> and then he realizes he's burning his, his nose hairs. So mm. uh, currently. You have a little bit of exhaustion from the coughing and the smoke okay. and, and the soot. So, uh, first level of exhaustion gives you disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Now, if somebody has an ability that can remove that paladin, or, uh... <laughs> that would be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That falls in the category. Okay, so so you just have level one exhaustion. Okay. I will help him out. Quit breathing the smoke. Okay. <laughs> As your head is in the smoke. I'm convinced. And I, and I throw <laughs> something at him. Put this on. Okay, so 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 your eyes are kind of watering. You got that whole smoke inhalation yeah. cough. We're just <laughs> no, that was. <laughs> and it says, needless to say, these bushes have stopped moving of their own accord, oh, as they're like cherry red cindery, and this room is hot from the heat. Because <laughs> no. uh, they're dry, dead, sticky flower blossoms, and the leaves and all that were overgrown are very hot. Anybody going in the hot, the hot house? Nah, I'm, I'm just parking my butt. I'm breaking I'm open some I'm not in any state. <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm waiting until it burns itself out. You know, we decided out. this dungeon is... So you guys will... It's warm enough. You guys will take another sh- a short rest at this point? Just to let this go back to normal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's not... Okay, so, uh, so, so your exhaustion will go away since you guys are taking like an okay. hour picnic here. Yeah, You're like, yeah. didn't we just finish a rest <laughs> and now we're taking a picnic? As you're hearing crackle, the one over to ourselves. Uh, we, we, crackle. Yeah, no, no. It's it's we, we got up too fast and we yeah. kind of you know we're doing the work of a group of five. We've got to go on a zero <laughs> okay. Right. okay, so so you hear the the the, the, the weird tang 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 of the stones cooling down after this because it got pretty it got pretty warm in there. It was pretty intense. It's almost like the bugbear used magic. It came to magic called fire and wood. 
<laughs> so so you, you 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 were hearing a noise coming down this hallway, by the way. After it's cooling yeah. off, after you've taken you've completed your rest. Are you guys doing anything? It's got the best perception. I, I, yeah, but I did a really good it. job that first month. <laughs> Bye. The coast okay. is All right. clear. All right. I think, I think like, whoever clears the spot, she, we should you, know, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep having my little wrap on. I, I'm no longer, yeah, so I'm not exhausted anymore. I'll take another yep, perception after, look. After the rest So you're the bully. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're yeah. gonna go down there and perceive. Yeah, I'm. I, I, well, I'm going. Or are you to, gonna I'm go a, down I'm there gonna, and sneak? I'm gonna sneak oh, my okay. way to that corner first. Okay, because yeah, you can just sneak and look around the corner. You have um, the perception to look down the corner. Yeah. So I got for my sneak worth my stuff uh, eleven for my sneak. Okay. You believe you are super quiet. By the way, mm-hmm. anyone that's got passive perception higher eleven or higher, you're all hearing him except for you three. Yeah. He's like, I need you. Because right, right. he's one over your passive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy side. Alright. And then uh, perception is on there. A 17 for A perception. 17. Okay, so uh, you, you, you're, you're looking down the hallway. You're, uh, you're, you're definitely looking down. You see the soot, the ash. I got yeah. the wrong book. Still the wrong book. Are you looking for I'm mm-hmm. looking for the bottom book. As as all of a sudden your eyes, you know, we're we're all used to the nice bright light. Mm-hmm. Then your eyes tweak to your little goblin yeah. over. Everything turns nice and grayscale. As you're looking down the hallway, what was your perception? Uh, Seventeen. Oh, that's pretty damn good. So as you look, technically, I'm not okay. Too worried if you go a little over. Okay. Oh, thank you. Is, well, I can shut this and lock it. We're good. Yeah. I could even lock it from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't have an exit back here, do we? Yeah, no. <laughs> As we, have yeah, water, we have water. Right we have water and food. Bathroom. We got a bathroom, so. And we got D and D. We'll be good till morning. I mean, guys, are humans. Humans thrive through the worst. Except for the fact that I have to be at work at seven. <laughs> oh, it's gonna suck when that door opens. We have to all bolt for work. We, we, we have enough battery power to recharge everyone's phones. <laughs> As you look down the hallway and you see a goblin corpse being held aloft by it looks like about four of those nasty little twig guys. Oh. It's a body completely drained of blood, it looks like, but its pallor looks raw. Almost sappy. And it's got four of them holding it up and carrying it your direction, and two that are looking right at you. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like, almost ghoulishly plant like, and there's a total of eight of the little shits coming. Four carrying the body, two in the lead, two in the back. Fantastic. Fantastic. I kind of. You, you've got a good lead on them. They're, they're, they're about, you know, at least one round away from if they were like a charge in this direction. I, I think, but 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 I kind of noticed that I am down the hall, and I am down the hall. <laughs> you can remember you've got the goblin thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that, that's that's what I mean. <laughs> I, I go back to report report my findings personally. <laughs> so, so what do you tell them? Yes, we we got eight more wait eight, eight more little uh, nasty vampire bushes down the, down that hallway. Vampire and, bushes. <laughs> I think they saw me. You believe the first two were yeah, yeah, I, right I, I, at pretty, you I'm pretty when sure. you went sneak, sneak, yeah, they sneak. Kinda, yeah, they kind of, yeah, they kind of spun me. You were so, so sneaky. sneaky. I, I was, I felt like I was pretty good. <laughs> they're not smart, but they're they're they're, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so you basically know you, you have a round or so at least head start on them, yeah. and they're coming down the hallway. Yeah, they're carrying a corpse. <laughs> carrying so a, go- a the, goblin and a, corpse. A, a corpse that they might be able to, might either have been empowered from by freshly eating, or may be able to eat from. I don't know. Or no, no, no. It's it's it was it was drained, so they might. Yeah, so they might be a little bit. You saw that it was a weird looking goblin corpse. It it it, yeah, it reminded it, it, you more of those weird tree goblins you guys were fighting earlier. Yeah. Than any sort than, of rusty than any goblin with mold. 
Oh, okay, okay, so 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 not so much moldy as they were more barky than more moldy. barky than moldy. Okay, so so we have so one problem, not not so much one problem, but a different problem. <laughs> and it seemed scary. inactive; it, it wasn't moving yet. Yeah. No. Yet. Do you consider Greece to be flat? Now? <laughs> you know, does, does the spell <laughs> say it is or isn't? It does not say either way. Well, what exactly the is the I'll put it in. what exactly is the book's <laughs> phrasing, and then we'll all discuss this in the five minutes it's going to take us to pack up. Here's my, <laughs> because that is a good place to wrap it up there. But we'll discuss the grease spell. Slick grease covers the ground in a ten foot square, centered on a point within range, and turns it into difficult terrain for the duration. When the grease appears, each creature standing in its area must succeed in a dex saving throw or fall prone. A creature that enters the area or ends its turn there, must also succeed on a deck saving throw or fall prone. It doesn't say either way, but I mean, when we're talking components, it's, it's a hot. bit of pork or pork rind or butter. So like lard-ish. <laughs> so, so then comes the question of collectively as a group, because mm -hmm. we, you know, if I'm going to give it to you, I'm going to use it against you eventually too. <laughs> so is grease flammable? Under what conditions? Well, I mean, we all know that the oil flasks break the real rules of what oil, burning oil does. Because if you have to heat it to temp before it can become flammable. Right. Right. But it, under what conditions will the grease spell be flammable if it is indeed flammable? Uh, I think you took me. I think you got me. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. I'm the one with the green base. Yep. The one that's super easy to pick out of the group. The tall goblin. <laughs> this is as short as this is as short as they let you do it. Blade. So so it's we'll summer. say since it's magic grease, it takes magic fire to ignite it. I think that's so, the most logical. This, this, this <laughs> is applying logic this, this to DD magic. I like this. You know, I mean, it, like literally, he's a bit in the hunched over pose. Like, like they, they can, they can be physically tall. I like it. Right. In like pose wise, but it's just a case of. Okay, so we're gonna say that. The grease spell is flammable if exposed to magic fire. That sounds completely <laughs> sensible. Is like another pencil? I don't know how to probably stole a purple one. Yeah. You steal a pencil. I mean. Okay, so we will say yeah. yes, the grease spell is flammable as long as it's been ignited by magical fire, which makes perfect sense because it is a magical creation. Okay. <laughs> to so which it will then burn like a campfire. 1d6. Well, the whole thing will go up, right? The whole well, 10 foot square. will it instantly ignite, or will it burn like each turn a new square ignites? Have you seen a grease fire? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm good with that. See, see, oddly enough, I am okay because anything the players can do, the GM can do too. But That's I'll you if you think really about disgusting. it like this, if it goes wrong, it's a spell. I can just drop it. Yeah. Drop it. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Or can yellow. you? Once it's the once it's gonna fire it. Once I bring, <laughs> once bring, like, bring, oh. bring it down the ground. Yeah. <laughs> We're packing up. What's that? You you, you intimidated us into leaving. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you big bully. When I roll that, okay, high, the tough one's gonna stay. The rest of us are running. <laughs> you can do anything when you roll a twenty. And that's a good place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about. Here in the Force of Alandril, we elves defend the woods from beasts and men. I myself have helped drive off goblin raiders, slain a giant spider, and composed an elven symphony for the Blood Moon Harvest Festival. And that was before lunch. So when I'm not sliding down the trunk of a barbarian elephant beast after killing it and its occupants with only my dagger and a few arrows, I look forward to coming home to a dungeon crate. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service crafted specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handmade items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one. 
as an added bonus. As an elf, I appreciate quality craftsmanship and dungeon crate delivers, even if it's put together by humans. Sir, sentries have discovered several dwarves and a wizard trespassing in our woods. I was wondering what that smell was. Dungeoncrate.com. Are you ready? Let the adventure begin. Yes. Yeah, proof, proof that life is not D&D because that, that would mean you'd have a 5% chance of succeeding in anything. It's true. Wasn't there a discussion about walking through the mall asking people out? You're eventually going to get 20. <laughs> You that. Eventually, <laughs> natural twenty is going to come. It's not well. true. Someone actually did a uh, did a did a college research paper on it. This guy just went around asking women if they go home and sleep with them. After that, said yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So like, that's, he asked like five hundred women. I was. So, women so in that case, percent. life is like Pathfinder. You're creating a nineteen or a twenty. Yeah. 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 I, uh, but in a, like I, I knew a guy who were, uh, worked at Renaissance fairs and. Um, and he's talking with like the, the barbarians and stuff like that, and the, the notion of can I have that? And they said about yeah, about ten percent of the time, someone will say like ninety percent of the time they'll just simply say no. Ten percent of the time they'll say yes. There, there, there is no, there is no like like offense taken whenever <laughs> when the barbarian asks you say yes before game. And I was here hours early because my friend gave me a ride and the bus. Um, and I was walking around Hot Topic and got invited to a threesome with their couple that was in there. I was like, and that's why it's such a hot topic. <laughs> that's a good weekend at the mall. And that's a good place to wrap it up.